Hey, this is Nick. Today I want to show you how I automated my annual NFL helmet schedule spreadsheet. So here we are looking at the old version of the spreadsheet. So this is, I use the same basic format template uh, for the past couple years of the NFL schedule broken down into two sheets by conference, the AFC and the NFC. So I have the entire schedule for every team and then the helmets for all the teams. So up until now, these helmets have all been placed manually. So yet, I mean, usually I want to do it. I would you know, outsource it uh, using Fiverr or some other website, pay someone a couple bucks to do it, but um, there's hundreds of helmets here, so that it would take a long time to update. So I've been trying to think of a way to automate it, make it quick and easy, and I've finally done it. So I'm going to show you how that works uh, here today. So there's two main problems uh, when you go to automate the creation of the spreadsheet. Problem number one is disregarding all the helmets. How do you get the NFL schedule? into a spreadsheet easily without having to do a lot of copy and pasting. So if you go to somewhere like NFL.com, there's not a good um, schedule up there. But luckily, if you go over to ESPN.com slash NFL, they have a schedule grid all laid out here. So you have all the teams listed in their complete schedule. So this makes it very easy to select the season. Um, so this basically is what enables this process to work. So if, if they ever stopped updating this, um, it would be much more difficult. But now, since they have it all laid out on the table like this, we can just copy and paste it. And we go into my new spreadsheet. So here you can see in the blue, this is that exact table. So I just colored this blue because when you want to update this sheet for the next year, that's all you're going to do is go to ESPN.com, copy and paste it into here. So that's Whole schedules, it's right there. Um, so the thing I started with, I guess, I listed every team here and their helmets, and then what league they're in, NFC or AFC. So this is one change from the previous version: is I'm putting every team in one sheet instead of breaking it up by conference. Um, so then the, the next part to get back to more the old style, where we're listing the names. The schedule on ESPN just has a three-letter or two-letter abbreviation. Um, so the first thing I actually do is convert those into the actual team name. And so that's partly why I list the team name out in this column. So I have formulas over here, which take the three letters, and it looks up uh, um, over here. And then I also have to account for if it's... In a way game, it has an at in front of it. If it's not, it doesn't. So that's what uh, this is doing. So I have this table here where actually I typed um, the same abbreviation that they use. So if it's home game, there's ARI for Arizona, for example, if it's away, it's at ARI. So I, I typed these all out based on what I saw in the schedule. So that's what these, these first columns were all my initial input. Again, once these are in here, none of these should ever have to change. I'm going to use formulas over here. If it has the at, it knows to look to the VLOOKUP formula to find the name here. If it doesn't, uh, it does the v looks up this column. It's two and applies the name here. Otherwise, this is looking up starting in column A, but then it goes to the third column to get the full team name. So um, that's Problem number one is copy and paste and schedule from ESPN, converting the abbreviations into the full team name. So that problem is taken care of. So I'm going to hide these. Um, so then the next step is how do you assign a helmet to every single game? So but if my calculations are correct. There are 544 NFL games this year. So that's 544 helmets that need to be placed. Um, so the very first thing is I have a helmet for each team. And what I've actually done is uh, name these picture objects a uh, certain name so I know which helmet is which. That's, this column isn't really used for anything. It's just telling me what the names are. Um, but if we go over here, to find and select and the flexion pane, that shows all the helmets. So the name in this column should match the name of the object. So if I click on the helmet, it showed me which one. If I hide this, it hides the helmet. So all the helmets have a name. Copy and paste it. 
it actually has the same name, so you would want to rename that as copy so you know that that one is different. Yeah, Los Angeles Rams copy, regular one. So that's key for making this uh, macro work. Also, then uh, there's another video that I show you how to do this when I grouped. This is called a group of cells. So I can just click on this plus or minus sign to hide that schedule portion. I have another video on my YouTube channel that shows you how to do that. Now, so here I just put the, the, date, the week of the first game, and that's two plus seven other dates in. So games run you know, different days, Mondays or Thursdays. I just group them all by week one, week two, etc. So then the next thing I did was create a macro, then looks up this value, and it knows which uh, helmet is assigned to which team, so then it copies the helmet picture, puts it there, and renames it. So let's step into the populate helmets macro. Um, so the way it works, there's a couple loops here, so what it does is it starts on the first row, loops through every column, and then it goes to the next row. So it's looping through columns and rows. And then so here, like, if team name is at, it knows um, which team to get. Look through this. Um, I'll put the download link for the spreadsheet in the description below so you can download it and look through this code yourself. Uh, to see how it works. Basically, you're just uh, copying and pasting images. That's what it comes down to. Um, initially, when I was going to try to automate the sheet, I was thinking of doing using linked images like I did in my Super Bowl Square sheet, but that would have taken uh, too much time. So I think this ends up being a much better solution. And so here's formatted to make sure the pictures are centered. In terms of the height and the width of the cells. So let's just um, run this to show you how, how it works here. So populate helmet. Just be able to click this. And hopefully it works. Putting all the helmets in now. I have screen updating off so you can't see it working out. That's going okay. There it is. So boom. Just like that. What used to be <laughs> taking hours to manually copy and paste all these helmets. Boom. There they are. Sheet's done. It's updated for the season. Awesome. So that's that's the power of macro automation right there for you. So if we show the uh, selection pane again, you can see now all these there's a lot more helmets, but they're all named. So that way they're, they're not just copies. It renames each one of them so you know what they are. Um, one trick then, if like if you want to delete helmets, you can go over here to find and you hit select objects. So then when you go like this, it would select them all, and then you can just delete them all at once. That's select objects as well. As you, it's going to stay, keep that on until you turn it off, so you have to remember to come back here and hit select objects. Otherwise, if you try to select, like it doesn't get, it's just selecting the cells. It's not selecting the helmets. So you go. Find and select, select objects. Uh, but yeah, so that's how the uh, spreadsheet works. Oh, and then another difference here is oh, this so I have by conference and division. So I have filters here, so you can, if you want to just see all the AFC teams, or if you want to go even a step further and just see AFC North, here it is. So to do the apply a filter with images, you have to make sure this property move and size with cells is selected. That way when you when the rows are hidden, it will hide the images as, as well. So if you look at the code, that's actually right here. So that in the end, I am for every picture, it's going to select them all, and it's going to say move in size with cells. It's going to set that property for all the pictures, so you don't have to do that by hand either. How it works, the newly updated 
2021-2022 NFL Helmet Schedule Spreadsheet. So again, the download link will be in the description. So download it, play with it. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, as always, feel free to let me know. Thanks for watching.